The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Doom Eternal, The Ancient Gods, Part 1. This is Mission 3, The Halt. Part 3, actually. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to get into this thing, and I don't know if there's something that I missed, if there's something I was supposed to shoot, if there was something that I just don't recall running into. But I'm not... It, typically, all the secrets and all the barriers and the blockages and all this stuff, they're all very obvious. Like... It's all very clear what you have to do to get those unlocked, but I'm not seeing it. I know we have to take that lift to go up, but I'm wondering, is there something down here that I'm supposed to do first? Oh, getting those frame rates dipping again. Got it. I don't understand it. I'm wondering if there's something that I needed to hit, like shoot or punch or something to open that door. So I'm just kind of taking a quick little peek around here. If there's anything that's glowing unusually um, when compared to the rest of the set pieces. Well, drop, so what's the deal? It dropped from 36 down to, or so 60 to 36. Okay, let's take a look. We're gonna try and fix this. For some reason, I've noticed that this game, specifically here, has a tendency to drop if um, if you toggle in and out of this, out of the game. I don't really know why it does that, but overall quality, we're gonna go low. I wanna see what that looks like. <laughs> uh, gonna be honest, I don't even see a difference, except... Yeah, I don't see any difference. That did fix, fix the FPS. But that's the thing, is I've got hardware that can easily support Nightmare, and I've been playing this game on Nightmare, or, like, Ultra Nightmare overall quality. Like, since we started the game. Not necessarily this DLC. Okay, so we're, yeah, 60, 59. Back to 60. I don't know, whatever. It's just crappy optimization. A lot of people have this issue online. All right, let's move on. Let's see what happens. Uh, what? Nothing happened. What did I miss? Oh, was that, did we create a lift or something on the outside? Oh, this here. Well, whatever that alternate or uh, optional enemy encounter was, I don't really care too much that we missed it. I mean, I sort of do, but I don't really. Like, it would have been nice to be able to go in and do that, but it's not the end of Zen World. Whatever, I'll move on here. that okay let's try that again because I think this thing eventually falls oh I didn't see this oh you bastard I thought it did it sounded like it was gonna fall Let's take a look and review. Okay, there's a secret back here. Why did it let me pick that up? I didn't need that. Yeah, this might be something that we have to move forward and then come back. Oh wait, you know what? Those, I don't know why, why did I pick up that health kit? I was at max health at 200. I don't understand it, whatever. I'm done trying to make sense of this. This DLC, while beautiful and fun, is buggy as hell. But I think it's, I think these aren't for health like I thought they were. I think it's a that something else. Blood punch, maybe. I never noticed. <laughs> we're in like the, the DLC of the game and I didn't even notice that's what it was for. All right, let's grab that book in a second. Yeah, see, even the health, why, whatever. The Seraphs remember that when the Dark Lord's lifeless body tumbled down the Pyramid of the Lost, Samur begged the Father to crush the Dark Lord's life sphere. Samur saw that they could destroy the Dark Lord's very essence so that he would brood no more against the Father. The Father refused. The Dark Lord was his creation. It was better to leave Hell contained, but the Dark Lord reduced to whispers. 
That's so dumb. If it came to pass the Dark Lord were ever reincarnated in physical form, only another prime evil or something more powerful could slay him. Once vanquished into this manner, the, the Dark Lord could no longer rule hell, stripped of a prime evil's bindings to the realm it was forged in. It would be scattered across the stars, and denizens of hell, not inside the realm's borders, would die as they lost their connection to the very reality the Father designed them for. Huh. That's really interesting. So I don't know what this, what he looks like, but I'm assuming this is supposed to be like the equivalent of like Lucifer, the devil, Satan, whatever you want to call that, that guy. Which means that every big bad we ever encountered in any other Doom title was not him. And that, I don't know. That's surprising to me, somehow. To restore order to my world. With the demons in control, you understand the threat they pose to all of my creations. He doesn't seem to know you have the Dark Lord's Sphere. So yeah, it looks like the father also doesn't really have uh He does not he's not all knowing. Oh shit! This is going to be a really, really difficult fight. Oh, no. Shit, this is going to suck. Okay, we have a... I'm not sure, but I'm going to try and take this one out first. And this guy, actually. Um, we'll leave the little mini zombies. If I, Because if I kill the spirit guy, or if I try to kill that demon, I feel like I'm going to be attacked. And I won't be able to uh, do much against the spirit guy. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Grab some ammo here. Damn. We also have that hunter as well. You bitch. Grab that health pack back here when I shouldn't have. Yeah, this isn't good. Oh, it wouldn't let me drop down? Shit. That's really bad news for me. Damn it, I need to... I don't want to lose a life. Shit. Oh god, they didn't do anything, I forgot. Okay, a little bit of health. Damn. lives wasted. It's very annoying that they didn't come or carry over from the base game. Because I had like 40 in that. Oh, I see. It must be 1224 because it's the the dual barrel. Alright, I guess that sort of makes some more sense. Blood punches. Why is it giving me so many? Is there a nasty enemy we're about to fight back here? I feel like there probably is. Oh, shit.
for that. stressful. Anything secretive here? No, but there is a book page over there that I want to get. So we're going to go back and grab that. Somehow. Can't get there, but this. I wonder. Oh, shit. Okay, uh... kill him, right? The explosion? Looks like it may have. That must unlock the door. It has to be. For the front. Did I miss that spot? Yeah, it has to be, has to be, has to be. It has to unlock that lore page. Because I don't know what else would. That's not it. I don't want to go here yet. Right? Right? Damn! Still no. Hmm. I don't know how else to get in there. No vents, no cracked openings, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna take one more look over here because it looks like we are meant to go to the right path. This particular direction had one spot that I didn't fully go looking into, though. That. A back door into this area. What did that do? Oh, it opened up that. Hmm. Curious. the optional encounter. There's no way to get in there from down there. Oh, what? It only gave me one... I nah, screwed that up. Oh, shit. Oops. Alright. Yeah, you gotta time it just right. According to the Korax tablets, if you kill the Dark Lord, any demon outside of their world will be destroyed. That's curious. Oh, there it is. So that's the trick. So shooting that once... Is that... Shit. How do I make that? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Cool, we're gonna grab that lore page. 
Bada boom, baby. Got it. After the father ordered the Seraphim to hide his life sphere within hell, Samor Maker followed his final wishes and withdrew into the shadows of history. Traveling to the earthly dimension, he used his power to establish secret control over the growing UAC organization and implanted his consciousness into a cloned body in order to move among the humans more easily as Dr. Samuel Hayden. The father had foreseen that the humans would soon discover the gift of Argent energy on their own and knew that they could only survive the coming onslaught if Simmer took direct control of their operation. Using the secrets of Maker technology, the father's mind was processed and reformed into the complex AI known as Vega, so that he could continue to exist among his creations and safeguard them against hell. Separated from his divine essence, Vega operated without full understanding of what its one what it once was in order to hide its true nature from the Dark Lord, who wished to subvert his power. Together, Vega and Simmer guided humanity into a new golden age. Samur transferred his consciousness in once again, this time into a technological shell of UAC design, enabling him to sidestep ancient laws and enter hell during earliest uh, enter hell during the earliest human expeditions. Okay, uh, he located and took possession of the Slayer's sarcophagus, knowing he would be key to stopping the coming conflict. After aiding the Slayer in the war against Hell, the Seraphim's original body was reclaimed. With the Father's life sphere destroyed, Summer can no longer stop the Transfiguration from corrupting his body and mind. Betrayed by the Slayer, the Seraphim knows that his will and clarity will soon give way to mutation. Oh god. I'm not, like, fully sure what all that means, but, um... Oh shit, I forgot to my dude. Whoops. Oh damn it. I set up royally. Thank god that doesn't take away my lives, because I would be DOA. There we go. Hey, another lore page. How are we on ammo and where are we? Turns everything else. There's something in there. It looks like a maker, or is this a statue? I'm not gonna grab that help just in case I need it for something else. The father, the creator of all things, served as the guiding light for the makers of Erdak for untold eons before vanishing from their realm. Ageless and formless, the logic and power of the Father gave birth to untold dimensions and worlds, giving rise to innumerous species and civilizations. Regarding Hell's a failed creation, the Father ordered his most loyal servant to remove his life sphere from Erdak and hide it away within Ingmore's sanctum, as his consciousness was reformed into the AI known as Vega. As Vega, he could, in secret, continue to watch over his creations on Earth while obscuring himself from the Dark Lord, whose war against his creator is unending. His spirit and mind divided, the father can no longer take physical form after the destruction of his life sphere by the Slayer. His presence remains within existence, immutable and immeasurable, observing as the consequences of the Slayer's actions drive destiny forward. I don't know, man. That seems a little weird that he would turn on the turn on him like that, but I guess it's the only way to kill the demons once and for all. Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, legend, what is this? Boss encounter. Um, shit, I wonder, that's probably not going to be a full episode, but I feel like it's going to be a hell of a long fight. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Let's just do it. Let's see what happens. Oh shit, it's going to see him. Okay. He's going to transform into something nasty. This is going to be a bitch. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever, bitch. Oh, nasty. Not really sure how this is supposed to go down. Uh, 
But that super shotgun definitely helps. This is far too easy. There's no way this boss encounter is this simple. Oh, we got some enemies in addition as well. There's got to be multiple phases because the icon of sin was more difficult than this. Yeah, there it is. Oh, shit. Oh, the one thing that I hate so much. That's the only enemy that I'm just like somewhat afraid of. A spirit shield kills spirits to make them vulnerable. I don't know if that'll work. That did a little nothing. Yeah, the good thing these things are slow. Oh shit, just kidding. Oh God. I had no idea. We're gonna have to deal with the fast one. Dude, he's so strong. I got my life back, thank god. That's a really great rune to have. So the spirits are easy if we just zap them that way. I didn't realize it worked like that. He's gonna try that shit again, huh? Yeah. I see there's three. Go to this one now. Oh shit. Damn it. He's not letting me get up there. hear that one guy doing his little blinky noise. Where are you? There you are. Come on. Damn it. She's on the ground. He teleports around quite a bit, doesn't he?
Gotta focus. Where'd you go? Damn it. Didn't realize those guys would be here. here. Shit. I have to waste my time on those guys. Ah, oh, shit. This is going to be a bitch now. We gotta take care of the one. The, oh, their one on the right is fast, but the one on the left flies. Take the damage. Go, go. Gotta be another health pack somewhere around here. And I don't see one. Damn. I'm stuck. There we go. Get some help. Oh my god, that was lucky as balls. Save that chainsaw for later. So he crushed the sphere of the father. Why didn't he crush the sphere? Could he not? Is there a reason for that? I don't know. I'm sort of lost. <laughs> but he's basically summoning the devil so we can end all this shit for good. Shit. 
did not see that coming at all. Had no idea that was a thing. Oh, got chills down my spine on that one. All right, let's see if we can probably skip this. We don't really need to stick around for that. All right. Well, that is a wrap on the Ancient Gods Part 1. We will continue immediately right after this with the Ancient Gods Part 2 tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific Center Time right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark. Before you go, show some love, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, take a moment of your time and look down in the description box. There's a handful of links there that might be of interest to you, one of which is the link to the Discord server for the Mark 9 community. If you wish to be a part of that, you can uh, chat with me directly if you'd like. There's there's also a link to geekoutpost.com, a media website that I own, operate, run, and write for. Um, that website there, if you want to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, rumors, etc. I do a lot of writing myself, so if you want to show some love by hitting, uh, hitting up that website and staying in the know, much appreciated. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you when we continue with more Doom Eternal, specifically with the Ancient Gods Part 2. Alright guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later.